Hello everyone. Today we will talk about most sun-loving creatures on the planet. Before we start, if you are new on my channel then please subscribe the channel, and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos about loving creatures. The sun is important for all life on earth. But, while many animals choose to hide in the shade, others like to be out in the open basking under its warm rays. As we are in the heat of summer, let's appreciate some of the animal kingdom's biggest sun lovers. Meerkat. Members of the mongoose family and at home in the deserts and grasslands of Africa, meerkats love nothing more than basking together in the sun. Well adapted to the heat, they're covered in thin fur and have dark skin on their stomachs, which they use to control their temperature, either by lying on their backs to warm up or stomachs to cool down. Sea Lion. Sunbathing is serious business for sea lions. They congregate in large colonies on the shores of the Pacific and spend much of their time noisily arguing over the best basking spots. If you're lucky, you may see them lying on their sides in the water with one flipper raised, the sun warming the blood and, consequently, the body as it circulates. Hippopotamus. Hippos sunbathe on the banks of rivers and lakes to warm themselves when it's cool out. They take skin care seriously though and secrete their own natural sunscreen to keep their skin moist and prevent it from drying out and cracking. The sunscreen's pinkish-red color led people to believe that hippos sweat blood, but in reality, they don't sweat at all. African Penguin More commonly associated with cold weather, it may come as a surprise that our next sun lover is a penguin. African penguins are native to waters around southern Africa, and congregate in large colonies on beaches near Cape Town. They alternate between dipping into the water and lying in the sun, and are even known to steal space on sunbathers' beach towels. Blackbird. Most bird species sunbathe in some way, with some of the most familiar examples being robins and blackbirds. On a sunny day, it's not unusual to see a blackbird sunbathing in your garden wings spread out beside them and feathers fluffed up. This is part of their feather maintenance as it helps to spread preen oil, which is important for keeping their feathers healthy. Sunbathing also draws out any parasites that may be hiding among the plumage. Marine Iguana Like most lizards, the marine iguana is often found basking in the sun. They are native to the Galapagos Islands and, as the name suggests, they spend a lot of time in the sea, they are well adapted for swimming. They are cold-blooded which means they can't regulate their temperature and rely on sunbathing on the lava rocks to warm up after their dip in the sea. Garter Snake Snakes are another animal that cannot regulate their body temperature and rely on the sun to do so. After a meal, they need to raise their body temperature to digest their food and do so by sunbathing. They may hide entirely under a warm rock, or they may extend the body section that contains the digesting prey into direct sunlight. Garter snakes, in particular, are known for their basking habits. They hibernate through winter, and bask for quite some time after emerging to build up the energy they need to look for food. Painted turtle. Like the marine iguana, painted turtles need to bask in the sun to absorb heat and keep their body temperature up. They emerge from the water at sunrise and bask for several hours to warm up and get ready for the day. They may bask on the shore but, more often than not, they will find a makeshift raft to perch on so they can sunbathe in the water. Basking is also important for the turtle's health as any ectoparasites dry out and drop off in the sun. Alligator. Alligators need the sun to regulate their temperature, so spend a lot of time basking, either alone or in large groups known as congregations. They really enjoy warm weather, but when they get too hot, they go for a swim to cool down. Alternatively, you may see them basking with their mouths open to release any stored heat. Western Boxelder Bug Western Boxelder Bugs really dislike cooler temperatures. They go into hiding in autumn but emerge regularly to sunbathe, which is essential to their health. While soaking up the sun's rays, Western Boxelder Bugs produce chemicals, which they then spread over their body with their legs while grooming. The chemicals engulf germs residing on their body to prevent them from causing harm. West African Black Rhinoceros The West African Black Rhinoceros was found in several countries towards the southeast region of Africa. Measuring 3 to 3.8 meters long and 1.4 to 1.7 meters in height, 
This rhino would have weighed 800 to 1,300 kilograms. It had two horns, one measuring 0.5 to 1.3 meters and the other between 2 to 55 centimeters. Their diet included leafy plants and shoots. Some believe their horns had medicinal properties though this had no grounding in scientific fact which lead to heavy poaching. In the 1930s preservation action was taken to protect the species, but the numbers continued to decline. The last West African black rhino was seen in Cameroon in 2006. It was declared officially extinct in 2011. Passenger Pigeon Native to North America, the passenger or wild pigeon has been extinct since the early 20th century. It is estimated that between 3 and 5 billion passenger pigeons inhabited the U.S. when Europeans arrived in North America, but their settlement led to mass deforestation resulting in habitat loss and a reduction in the bird population. By the 19th century pigeon meat was commercialized as a cheap food for the poor, which resulted in hunting on a massive scale. The passenger pigeon died out in the wild by around 1900, with the last known individual dying in captivity in 1914. Tasmanian Tiger Native to Australia, Tasmania and New Guinea, the Tasmanian tiger was a large carnivorous marsupial. Not related to tigers, the creature had the appearance of a medium to large-sized dog, but dark stripes gave it a tiger-like appearance. It is believed to have been hunted to extinction, this was encouraged by bounties, but human encroachment into its habitat, the introduction of dogs and disease could also have contributed. The last wild Tasmanian tiger was killed between 1910 and 1920, with the last captive one dying in Hobart Zoo, Tasmania in 1936. Ostrich The ostrich is the most sun-loving bird, which with a height of 9 feet and weight of 344 pounds, and at 1.9 inches in size, their eyes are the largest of all birds. They don't have teeth and can survive without water for days as they can make their own water internally and extract the rest from the vegetation they eat. Saltwater Crocodile The largest living reptile is the saltwater crocodile. This animal loves the sunlight and growing to an average length of 17 feet, although they can reach 21 feet in length and weigh up to 1,000 pounds. They are distributed widely in brackish and salt waters in parts of India, Asia and Australia and feed on all animals they can get their teeth into, which include sharks if they get the chance. Brown Bear The position of largest living land carnivore is shared between brown bears and polar bears. The remain happy in sunlight and grow faster. Weighing a whopping 907 kilograms and reaching up to 10 feet tall, when standing on their hind legs, they've definitely earned their spot as the biggest. While you'll find brown bears in the forests and mountains of North America, Europe and Asia, you need to head further north to the Arctic Circle to catch a glimpse of polar bears, who split their time between the sea and ice and feed mostly on seals. Giraffe At a height of 19 feet, the giraffe is the tallest living animal on Earth. Giraffe is one of the most sun-loving animals, the neck alone is 6 feet tall. At home in grasslands of East Africa, they feed mostly on vegetation high off the ground, using their long prehensile tongues to pull young shoots and leaves from the trees. Babies are born after a 15-month gestation period and are already 2 meters tall. African Elephant The largest living land animal is the African elephant which can weigh up to 6,350 kilograms, they typically grow to 35 feet from trunk to tail and have a shoulder height of 13 feet. There are at least two species, the savanna elephant and the forest elephant, and they currently cited as venerable in the IUCN red list of threatened species. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please press the like button and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.